Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the second game of me and Plague of Rats' match. Um, he's playing New Zealand, and I will be playing third mech. And this is his deck. He's playing Vanguard. Taking a look at it. I didn't get to see it before the game, but I got to see it, I got to see it now. Got tons of stag hounds. Lots of unvetted infantry. Got 70. He's got some sustain. Got the standard double vetted Shermans. So he doesn't have many in A, only six. Kind of low. Does have another one vet with a leader card in B and plenty in C. Lots of AT, six pounders. These things are amazing. 50 points seems a little bit too much for 175 pen. I think they should raise the price, in my opinion, maybe by like five points. Bofers, vetted, standard. Aircraft's pretty standard. All right, let's go look at my deck. Roll down. All the way. All right, here we go. Fortunately, I have a lot more Shermans. I will not be. I have nine in A. Actually, that back. I have an extra two, so I have 11 with a leader, making them triple vet. I have two in B, and I have one in C, so I'll have more Shermans on the field than this guy. I also have the Zisk guns, which are the Sherman killers. Our Shermans, I think, are the same. Same penetration, same armor, so no real difference there. It's going to be double vetted Shermans versus double vetted Shermans. I looks like I have more infantry, but my infantry looks to be more vetted. I also have Rezekas. Air tabs a little weaker than his. Got the mourners. I didn't bring my AA vetted, so I'll have more to be able to deploy. Overall, I think I have more stuff in my deck. Got a better air tab. Not too much difference. Like 70, 70 infantry. Anyway, let's go check out options. Plays. Anyway, so you see that we have a pretty even decks. Both Sherman decks. Now it's going to be able to who can micro the Shermans better. I will have though, you know, five more Shermans in that A phase, and we're both, you know, both early incomes and both vanguards. So you know that could lead to a. Uh, the greatest scenario, and we'll see too, because we will see a, a scenario where I, I end up out Shermaning him, <laughs> where I just have more Shermans in the field in the early phase, and even in the B phase, I have just as many as he does. So, yeah, I mean, it also it looks like my infantry is also more adapt for the CQC combat and the Zisk guns. Are just great that APCR round just destroys Shermans. It's got a really good rate of fire. Keep those vetted, I recommend just personally. Fast forward here. And look, the quality's already gone up because I don't have NATO symbols already turned on. <laughs> All right, we'll fight from this angle. It's a good map. I like this map actually. And the first, I've only played on the map one time so far before this. And he said, I think he said something similar where he's only played on it one time. So it's kind of new to both of us. I thought, hey, you know, this area looks to have more flags. If I push up here, I only get one flag, and maybe I grab this. So I'll, I'll push along this front. I'm going to grab three flags. Center, I don't know if it's really value. You know, like, it's not really easy to push. There's too many angles looking down the hill. So you'll see me deploying most of my forces. Germans with leaders. Lots of infantry. Germans. Not too much. Just some light infantry with a leader. One uh, superior with some flames. Stand with some flames going down center for the town. I sent an AT gun looking down, like trying to get in this area. Some flamers getting this just to hold down the flag in center. All right. Go down normal speed. He's got a little more, I'd say a little more even deployment on the field. Looks like he's deploying more resources down to the southern flank. I'm deploying more to the north. He's only got one Sherman coming up here, but he's bringing up a lot of AT guns. I don't bring the AT guns off the bat. I feel like. And uh, mistake right off the bat. I told an order to, you know, unload here, but decided to unload on this position and then walk there. I don't know why. So it's pretty, uh, pretty bad. Lucky, luckily for me, he doesn't really push better position. We're about to get an engagement up here. I do bring up one this gun over here to support. Trying to get my infantry to the flanking forest. Trying to rush me field engineers. Keep field engineers that get shredded up the field. Firing already. We're not seeing too much action. Pretty much static down here in the bottom front. Trying to get in this forest. The Sherman is getting me, beating me there. He pops one of my guys, so I unload. I'm gonna start running here. I'm not too nervous about them taking shots. I'm gonna pull up my three vetted Shermans. I have three of them versus one. See the engagement right off the bat. Got that range. AT gun though is going to start taking shots. Unfortunately, my MCHA leader goes in the front. Kind of disappointed with that. I kind of wanted him to stick back in the rear. I'm trying to push up here in the north. I'm trying to keep this flag in my position. 
these guys are just popping off. Unfortunately, I do lose my tank. Itzy gun versus my Shermans. I decide, hey, I'm probably not going to pin each other. The Shermans at this range, or almost max range. So I told my Shermans to fire at the AT gun. Then I'm like, all right, I'm just going to reverse out of this. I don't like disengagement. Nothing down here really going on. Trying to move up his one stag hound, but not much. The leader's wounded here, but it looks like I got the edge on the northern flank. His AT gun went down over here. And some CQC combat. Field engineers don't have what it takes to beat. <laughs> they get destroyed. Stackhound is guarding the open though. 25 points, pretty good. Pretty cheap for a pretty good vehicle. Another one down here, that's 40.1. Brings out an aircraft. Bombs me though. Kills my Zis, uh, my Sherman. Which I thought he was going for the Zis, but he went for the Sherman. Taking down that leadership bonus that I get on all my units. Keep trying to push into these fours. I want to secure them. Get in the CQC combat. I'm bringing up some of my own AT. More. Just to... They can, they, that's what's so great about the Mercs. They're assault guns as well. And they do have APCR. Maybe give me that edge. The, the gun combat. Yeah, nothing much going down here. We're starting to see finally a push from him. Fortunately, I do have some vetted infantry, but... Little vetted flamers. But he does have some veterancy as well. He's got a leader. But isn't looking good. You can see he's already... I start, as I saw this going down, I started to panic a little bit. I'm like, I gotta send shit here. But yeah, I see the ZIS guns firing at the uh, AT gun. They don't have a chance. Kurt is stuck. Some cheap infantry coming down the main road. Yep, gets depressed. One infantry squad, though. They're just TPs. 15 point units. Flamers get shredded. Not gonna beat these guys. In combat by themselves. They need support. Support. Let's see me bring up like one squad just to hold on. I thought, hey, you know, you can take this one flag. I'm fine with that. As long as I get the initiative up here. You'll see me support tons of resources up here. Millions. <laughs> Millions. Bring up another leader. Give these Shermans the triple vet. Fortunately, my Shermans are engaging his Shermans in CQC combat. And I bounce. How unlucky. How is that even possible? It's a blank range. Plus, there's a leader giving them triple vet. Not good. I lose down. It's something like I'm sticking down here. I'm not doing great. He's pretty much locked down the southern flank. Counter moving up. Counter is so good. It's 50 points for an APCR round. It's so nice. I don't know why he has an APC, uh, a six pounder over here flying around. Let me bring him more and more. Thanks here. I've kind of got this center down my area. He's got the north. Like, I'm starting to make some pressure here. There's not much guarding this entire point. Not much action, though. Kind of just move slowly. I like this intermission. There was a lot of action in the beginning, and now all of a sudden it's become slow. I'm engaging this sniper. I didn't realize there was anything here. I just kill it quickly. I'm even it out, though, taking this flag. I'm trying to move this this gun and take some shots at these Shermans, because this has an 85, 185 pen. It's going to be easy killer against the Shermans. These are triple vetted though. Bomber comes in and deletes my squad. The Hawk getting two kills. Pretty much paying for itself to be fair. Killing that Sherman, Command Sherman and that infantry squad. And getting away for another shot. I'm in this area though, pretty tight. We needed a lot to get out of here. <laughs> EP firing. He misses a shot. Hits me though. Mission damage goes down. Not good for me. Look at that. Getting kind of ba off bad positioning there. Another kitty hawk coming down. Coming for a bomb here, run. Oh, almost deleting the whole squad. Making a push here on center. It's not, see, not good. I'm starting to make a counter attack down here in the south. Trying to get a Sherman in here, maybe an AT gun. Really bad though. You'll see here. I'm not. I looked away for a second. And bam. Pops my Zisk gun, that's 60 points gone. Wasted. 55 points, my bad. He's a six pounder though. But again, we're in that A phase and he doesn't have that much. He cannot send that many Shermans. I have that many left. He uses that Greyhound right after. But now my Sherman kind of just has free roaming. The six pounder is the only thing covering. Got a lot of stack hounds to make up the difference though. These uh, stack hounds have been getting popped throughout the game. They really haven't been doing 
kind of giving the slowly giving me the point advantage. Try sticking a stack down around the line, but I'm I'm aware that he got through. I'm trying to secure the center point again, and get back in it. I thought, hey, maybe I have more sustain. I should keep keep the pressure up. All right, if I lose a couple units, yeah, we're seeing a kind of a, a reckless push right here. Resist guns will easily pop the Shermans. Oh, cool. Look at this. Such a such a beautiful game. Sherman's going down left and right. Watch out, bounces off. I buy my first aircraft here, coming out of the Cobras. I've only got two of them. Luckily, he does the evac order immediately. Unfortunately, though, Cobra is not fast enough to catch the Kitty Hawk. Pretty, uh, pretty lame. Is what it is. <laughs> The south, I got a Sherman just guarding the flag. Doesn't look like he's got any more Shermans coming down anywhere for me, especially when I was looking. I tried pushing him a little bit. I'm trying to want, I want to get this flag back. I'm trying to send this squad to capture this flag at a weird angle. There isn't much up here as well, so I'm trying to get this flag. That's so there's a lot of opportunity for me to grab flags. Not to go with super offensive, but like I grab this and this, and I'm taking him up. Oh, we're just going in for the Kitty Hawk again. Going in for the bombing run on my Sherman. Try backing up. Go no, dodge it. Unfortunately, Kitty Hawk. It's all dumb on me. Feeling out the wrong way. And he's not going to get bothered at all. More stag hounds being popped. We're seeing another Kitty Hawk coming out on the field. Airplay down. My Cobra is worth more, so it should be better, right? <laughs> but head on, yeah, I mean... Just see me peel off here now. Like, I'm not gonna... He can't chase me either. He's too slow. <laughs> but I was like, I'm not gonna fight this engagement. He could have taken me out here. I thought he was. But he peeled off too. Looks like he gave a direct order. He was smoking. He didn't want to take the action. I can send out another Kitty Hawk. I uh, sorry, another Cobra. This time, he doesn't look like to be microwing his aircraft. But again... But actually, I take that back. He is microwing it pretty well. I'm trying to micro my aircraft to get behind this Kitty Hawk. Like, hey, if I can take that out, it'd be really good. Taking the back of the flag. I am taking him now. Got the flag back up on the north. Um, I immediately peel off. my. I'm not going to get that guy. I may as well go for the one that's flying around trying to shoot me down. <laughs> go for it and head on. And he gets shot down. That's kind of interesting because the other Kitty Hawk went on head on. Didn't work. I'm out of here. I see this other fighter coming. Like, no way am I going to fight that. I fight that later. Trying to get more and more infantry into this force. Bring up a six pounder. Kind of interesting that he knows it's probably infantry. Maybe he can't see. Six pounder is here. I'm trying to shoot my Sherman. Got the APCR around. Loader wounded right off the bat. Not good. I tried backing him up. But he already gets killed. It's unfortunate. I think some more chief infantry to guard. I'm sending a huge wave of, a wave of guys to try to push through here. Kind of see there isn't that much here. Kind of just, uh, he was just kind of probing me. Got the air cover though right now. Got Kitty Hawk just flying around. Kind of interesting that he's not bombing the Zisk guns. And he's been bombing throughout the whole game the Shermans. The Zisk guns are the, kind of the only thing that can really take out his Shermans. He's got the six pounders too. Does kill me though. Man, I, mean, I take it back. Kitty Hawks. I guess when they're, like, two of them will kill a... Two bombs will kill a Sherman. That's unfortunate. Bring up more Zisk guns. Bring up some more infantry. Big waves coming in here. I'm trying to push through now. I want to get into this flag. Maybe I grab it. Look, double tick right now. That's why I, when I see this, I'm like, all right, I need to I need to push here. This is a uh, hoplite right off the bat. 25 points gone. The hoplite's caught out in the open, but I'm trying to give a direct order. I thought maybe, hey, there'd definitely be an AT gun here. But I start pushing here more. Fortunately, my commander goes out in front. I was not happy about this. Like, come on, get back. Why is the <laughs> that's the problem with commanders? Right? They go, they have the or the leaders. They have the uh, the faster uh, vehicles. And they end up being out in front. They also kind of walk forward too more. Got to kind of baby them, but yeah, I noticed this. I'm like, oh my gosh, there's nothing here. I'm gonna go all the way. I'm gonna try to secure this point. Relieving a lot of pressure from up here. You can see he's bringing up a Wolverine though. Kind of an interesting pick. 
50 points though, for 130 pen, so not a bad actually idea, but they can get pen by Sherman. You can see now, I'm, I'm pairing these co uh, these Kitty Hawks, sorry, these Cobras together. Then they can win in, in fighter engagements, like definitely without any loss. 1v1 is not great for them. They're, not, they're pretty fragile aircraft. If they have AA around, they're, they're goners. Try moving up my Sherman. I was maybe getting a little too aggressive here. Maybe I should have consolidated with that Sherman. But I thought maybe I, I conducted a break there. I wanted to follow up with it. I'm starting to bring AA here. I'm trying to solidify the points I've got. I'm up two flags on this area. Fortunately, ABCR round's gonna fire right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> immediately crew panics. Second shot, nope. Does it take a third? And it looks like it's gonna die right here. Oh, takes a fourth. German actually tougher than it looks. And goes down. Trying to bring up some Zisk guns to support. Trying to clear out these guys as well. I was just strafing, hanging out. Wasn't sure what to do with my fighters because they ran away. See a Kitty Hawk come out though. Moving in for a bombing run. Smart. <coughs> Pressing both units. <coughs> Looks like he's willing to go head on with two of them. Maybe he doesn't see their two of them because they're so close together. Yep, goes down. That's another 100 points. I'm getting my money with the aircraft. We're seeing him bring out a bow for forcing him to spend points on AA instead of taking the points here. This gun is just try to pop out some Shermans. Didn't get any. I don't think he got any kills. Bring up some more superior to fight in CQC combat. Not mad at there with my fighters. Just let them heal. Big counterattack coming after me here. Trying to bring up a Ziska just to look down that main road. Seeing a lot more Shermans, but my Shermans now have the advantage because mine are double vetted in B phase while his is not. And I'll probably be pairing them most of the time with leaders. Giving them that triple vet. Gonna looks like he's gonna push up here, take that flag back. This is firing, getting another shot. Come on. There we go. <coughs> Maybe I'll, I should have paired it maybe with a Sherman or something. I didn't push that Sherman though. I could keep it there. I'm trying to buy some more Shermans. You see. Through panic, transmission damage. Kitty Hawk coming down for a bombing run. Too bad I can't double tap, man. I mean, double tap would have been good right here. I did damage some of those vehicles. Kitty Hawk does kill me though. <coughs> Trying to get in here. Elite infantry. Six pounder being smart. Immediately gets a penetration. Oh, it dies in the first shot. Six pounder, bad luck. I think pairs of two of Sherman's coming out consistently. Probably should have waited for all four to get together before committing. Luckily, there's this gun too, and assault gun, so getting some side shots on these pop lights. Yeah, the trades haven't been great up here for the north for him, I think. I've been doing pretty well down here. Like, had a, early, a pretty bad start, I think, and I think Play Rats played pretty well in the early game. I think just based off looking at that deck composition he had, kind of being limited of what he could have followed through in that A phase when he traded really well. Plus, my infantry is superior in that seeking combat, especially how many superior I have. See the hoplites cannot compete right now. Do that. See how fragile they are. Float. Yeah, I guess I didn't <coughs> notice the AA. I guess the pilot automatically like what's happening here. Why is he just flying in circles? He got the order to attack. Well, you gotta kind of direct control your aircraft. Then I'll, I'm just like, I'm out of here. <laughs> Bring up another Cobra to go after this Boston. Should have probably noticed the AA. I kind of didn't know. I haven't played. It's like one of the first times I've played this deck. I've been told by everybody it's a really good deck. 
So, happened to pee that I didn't know how fragile the Cobras were. So I did get the Boston. Fortunately, give an order to strafe. Should have probably given an order to retreat. Immediately. We are even right now. I got two Zisk guns firing down the main road. Fortunately, he's got an MG set perfectly looking down the main road. I'm trying to get the Sherman to fire at it. There we go. Gets it. Tons of hoplites. Unvetted, though. Trying to get this point secure. I want to get back to this point. Trying to get back to this point. Flag is taking me down now. He took my most northern point. That, uh... MG team. He's me bringing up is this gun, some uh, assault. He's at SUs. APCR. They can actually pen Shermans pretty well. And they'll definitely pen Wolverines. And they have the assault guns. You have AA in the north. No AA in the south at the moment. He can pretty much bomb me. He's brought up his own AA to stop my fighters. But I think my Cobras have paid for themselves. They've shot down a decent amount of aircraft so far. The air war, I think I've been trading well. I've only lo I haven't lost any aircraft yet. Yeah, this, is, this little uh, pause once again. There isn't much action. It tends to happen pretty regularly. There will be a lot of action on both fronts. There'll be this like build up of like where someone's gonna push. I think that's the key. I think the, the better players too is kind of to know where to stop and push somewhere else, find a weak spot. Instead of keep hammering. I finally buy my first bomber. Go for it immediately, the MG. I couldn't see this AT, so I didn't go for it. I see him drop out. He does it too early to dodge. He should have done it like right when the bombs were already being launched. It doesn't work out. It's just gun. Getting a good look at this uh, Sherman here. This is the first, of course. Life depends on it. Come on. Are being fired. Uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna win though that engagement. Nope. Die. That shot right there. Boop goes down. He's just gonna take out the Wolverine, gun jamming it. There should be a panic in a second because the six pounder is gonna come out of nowhere. I mean, we shoot down another aircraft of theirs with the Cobras. Got this area kind of locked down. It'd be pretty tough for him to do anything. I'm trying to chase down his uh, bit fire. Luckily, gets away. He's bringing up more AA, making him force him to buy more. Doing counter push in the northern area, trying to grab that flag. <clears throat> Being kind of pressured here, though. Pick out one of his squads coming down, though, which is really good. Maybe I could have pushed a little harder up here, you know? You roll my tanks through here. Isn't that much at all? Come on. Immediately go straight for the uh, AT gun. But it's already been it's already really done its damage. Let me try to send. I'm gonna try to send a fourth of Sherman to push to the side. I, mean, I can grab this flag pretty easily. I think. Again, I think the air kill has been pretty devastating for the flag right now. Lost a lot of aircraft throughout the whole game. And he's lost a lot of Shermans. The Shermans have not been really paying for themselves throughout the whole game. Oh my, this guns have like, consistently, they just have to kill one tank and they pay for themselves. And they've been killing multiple tanks. Me flying about. I saw him bomb me over here, so I'll try to shift to my aircraft. Looks like, um, like he's not looking too thin. I mean, he's looking pretty thin around the whole front. I mean, it's... I'm way more dense, I think, up here, and I have way more forces. Got more forces here, but not enough, and he's going to definitely have to send more up north at the moment. I peel off. <laughs> Why save the fuel? Like, if they're not doing anything, can, you don't want to just fly them around, because it takes more time for them to recharge. Again, he's sending another Wolverine up here, just losing it to his assist gun. Kind of getting this, all these angles, he can't really do much. MGs are just going to die to the Germans instantly. There you go, it goes down immediately. AA is kind of out of position, not doing it. He strafes me. Spitfire seems to be a tank. <laughs> These unvetted uh, 37 mils don't do anything. 
Maybe build up a little bit. <coughs> We're in C phase and neither one of us have a lot more resources, but you can definitely see that the trades have been probably more positive for me. There's more guys, it looks like, on the field from me than it is from him. And he's lost a lot more aircraft as well. He's been taken down more as well. He does have a seat card of Germans. I have a seat card of Germans. <coughs> but I don't, I'm pretty sure at this point too, I haven't even gone through all my B-phase Germans. Double vetted. Yeah, so you only got we got two tanks up north. He's bringing up more six pounders though. Unload some more infantry to push. Seeing me bring up some more superior. So that's CQC again. The op lights are just gonna die. All these SUs I haven't really brought up. I've only brought up like two up in the north. German goes down. Nothing really here. There's just one field engineer. Pretty thin actually in the center as well. I mean, I'm thin as well, but he doesn't have the resources to spare being pushed so hard. Like, look how few units are here. That's the thing, right? Like, you keep the pressure up and they're, and, you know, they're having to divert resources to, they don't, you don't need to, like, put a lot of forces here. Like, I just have, like, keep the 15 squads there. It's a bomb kill on me. 115 points, though, for a uh, RDTP. <laughs> Lose my leader though, I tried throwing smoke, didn't work down that work out at all. Perry pushing in. Guys Sherman. <laughs> I bounced. Mine's double vetted. Dies instantly. <laughs> no tanks down the southern flank. Pops one of my Sherman with a six pounder. I try going in for a bombing run. Whatever reason I don't my he moves it though. See me miss the bomb here. Do I miss it? Yeah, I do miss it. <laughs> oh man, this sucks. Get a bomb off on his uh, squads. That, that's devastating. <laughs> I don't know what he's gonna do about that. Bring up another leader. Kind of see, he's sending his Shermans out right now. By himself, unsupported. Kills one though. Like, you don't want that one to one trade, really. Gonna get away? No. Bring up more tanks. A lot of Wolverine dependency. You have decent penetration. I don't know. I thought for right now, I'm thinking like, hey, I think I've got this point pretty secure. It starts diverting a lot more resources. I can grab this flag and get the double tick. Here we go. Straight to the right target. So I get on his butt. Boom. Gone. Lose another aircraft. I think uh, Plague was uh, not playing great with the aircraft trades throughout the whole game so far. Bailed out my tank though. Six pounders again. Amazing. Try strafing his Bofer. Immediately. Look at that. His Bofer just stopped you. And is stalling. Should have probably diverted. He's buying another Bofer. Probably sent out some more aircraft. And it's just going to keep turning. Trying to go for another uh, strafe. There you go. It's a down, though. Being a bomber now. Go for the force of it deployed early. You can see I'm trying to put a lot more pressure down here. That Sherman, though, is going to be a problem, man. I kind of really have anything to kill it at the moment. Bomber gets the Bofer. That's uh, three points there. Don't lose any aircraft. He's pretty thin. Look how thin he is in center too. Not even that. He's so thin up here as well. The only force where we kind of have even down the south. <clears throat> Gonna kill my superior. I think right after I see that Sherman, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna have to bring up a Rezeka to bazooka it. A Cobra going way out of position, too far. But for getting free shots on it, it's vetted. It's gonna take this thing down. Cobras are fragile. <laughs> and you die. Yeah, there she goes. She goes down. The 
the blaze of glory. Oh. <laughs> oh man, so cool. Yeah, that Sherman. I wasn't sure whether his deck, uh, I don't know why. I thought these guys were... I thought I was playing a Russian division for some reason. Maybe when I saw this recon, I'm like, oh god, it's a bazooka guy. But the tech doesn't even get it. He's getting control of the center area. He's been withering me away with the Germans pushing down this main road. These AT guns. He's gonna bring up a supply vehicle to repair these Shermans. They have other things damaging them that need to be repaired even if they're gonna fight. In 40 points to get back, you know, two of my 65 point Shermans. Worth it, I think. Plus I can give my uh, SU some APCR. I have that assault gun too. Kind of aggressive though. You me bringing it up? Rizeka, I thought like he'd be in here. We're not really seeing that much stuff coming out from him now. ISC is pushing up. SU, sorry, pushing up. Wolverines don't, or, you know, they're pretty fragile. These guys take two shots too, and they're double vetted. Have my leader in there with them. Gonna get suppressed. I think can't even. I don't even think this can get pennant. I guess it could, but that's the same armor. They're gonna prioritize now to the Shermans. Minor vetted as well. They're, some of them are even triple vetted. Not a great engagement. We're bringing out another Wolverine. The fire coming down. Drop bomb in a good spot. Right down on my Gavardi DP. Gone. Try chasing him down. Could have just peeled off. I knew this there's an AA here. Already lost one. Yeah, I'm making the same mistake. Wasting an aircraft. I'm throwing out you can see that I'm microing up in the north at the moment. If I get something, go lose a cobra. Not a good air trade. I thought they did kick. They, you know what? They paid for the silk. <clears throat> if I coming down, bombing the Emcha. That's full health. Not the best idea. Too much. <laughs> I lose an aircraft up here as well. The two buffers. So again, we did see in his deck that he doesn't really have that many buffers. I think like maybe you can call out one more. On the total, he's gonna be building up more and more forces there to make sure that. I thought, hey, he's gonna push down this road. It looked like he was putting a lot of pressure here. Tried building up a counter force. Meanwhile, I'm gonna bring up some AA to cover all the bombings that have been going down here. Also brought up my Becca to take out this Sherman. Bring up more Gavardi DP. How much action center whatsoever? I probably should have capitalized on how thin it was. You know, I, the moment I was thinking like, hey, north and south are my, where my flags are, what I want. It's kind of tough though, he puts AT gun here, like to advance or anything like that. Plus I had no real AA cover. He just bombed me. Same with him, I don't think that's why he pushed. Pretty tough for him to cover, I can put guns. Now you can see my wave of Shermans. All either triple or double vetted. Every one of them is triple vetted, actually. That's pretty scary to fight. <laughs> the Wolverine. Like the triple vetted. Yeah, I mean, that's so. The veterancy is so key. Bring up some more infantry. I kill that Sherman with the Rizeka. Or whatever he's, I don't know how to say it. I don't know if we try. Double takes going on now. Already DP's putting up. He doesn't have much, he's pretty much just nothing in the south. He doesn't really have a fighting force to play aggressive in the north anymore. Center's just thin. Thought maybe I should push out this area. Like, come on, unload, 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 unload. Got him. 
This guy doesn't have any more frags. Yeah, Miner vetted two. For one, so he's dead there. Here's double vetted here in the forest. Not looking good in any regard. See this bombing. This time I brought up my AA. I try bombing, I'm like, I'm gonna back up for a little bit and jump bomb. I get him, but I press myself. Well, yeah, I'm gonna start bombing things in center as well because there's nothing in there. He moves his uh, field engineers out of position though. I'm kind of surprised he moved him out of that forest, just kind of keeping the pressure. Moving a uh, hoplite in the middle of the open. He's kind of tracking here, he's got enough force to push me back. Framework of RDP in center. The AT guns are not vetted, and they're gonna fight triple vetted Shermans. Not gonna be able to lay enough firepower. That's not good. Yeah, losing that AT guns. I don't know, like, that, like, I don't know if he has that many. He's used a lot of them so far throughout the game, so that could be it right there. Just seeing Shermans come out now. Nothing from the southern flank. This is a six pounder guarding the, the main entrance. Push a little bit here. My triple vetted Shermans are not worried about his one vet Sherman by itself. <laughs> I have plenty more coming. Even sending one in the north just to gear it down. Yeah, you can tell. The trading hasn't been great right now. I don't think he's got that many aircraft. We shot down a lot throughout the whole game. Counters. Getting a good tank combat here. Got bounces over us. Got to be a few closer down. That is pretty cool. So amazing. Got one buffer. I killed that one leader squad. Oh, this thing totally bends back here. Making no progress in this Sherman versus Sherman brawl. Minor vetted. I don't even think they can really pin each other. <laughs> Spread out my guys. Come on, get out of the way. Get bombing. The bomber coming. Fortunately, I have the man. Oh, bomb where our last was. Piping each other. <laughs> I have more ammo though. I got that ammo truck down there. That's why those disc guns earlier were so key. To pair them with the Shermans, they'd be shooting at the Sherman while the disc guns is popping them. See the six pounder. Wasn't having any of it. Back up my Sherman. Immediately, I bring a bomber in. There's like pretty much nothing else in this front. But are wounded. He's being suppressed though. Taking HC damage. My triple vet are just gonna suppress him the whole time. Bomb both is two units guarding the entire center. Like that, the whole line bends. Not winning up here as well. And there we go. We got a surrender from flag. See the trade? You know, they're not that far off really from each other. It looks like I had more stuff and I was trading just a little better. I think he had a really good opener. I was able to 
My deck just he couldn't follow through, I think, with his deck composition. Bosses. Look at the chronology here. Yeah, a decent amount of kills right off the bat. Pops two of my superior though, right off the bat in the game. Kill Greyhound, Herman. Kill some stuff. In the beginning, look at that. I think he had a really good opener. Got trades here. He got he had, he kind of I think wasted some of his armor later on. Got trades here. A lot of my infantry. Around there, he lost some of those expensive units of aircraft. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, Plug Rats. Uh, good luck in the rest of the tournament. And um, if you like, leave a comment, guys. You, know, you can always subscribe, and then you can always unsubscribe later.